I'm Mrs. Kathy and uh, First Baptist of Wikiwachi, Florida. Uh, my name is Pastor Timothy and I'm a missionary here in Campo Grande, Monte Grosso do Sul, Brazil. This is my 13th year here in Brazil. My wife Virginia and I will be married 13 years this October. I first came the 26th of August 13 years ago. Uh, this is uh, May 21st, 2018, so in 2005. Um, I, I want to give a very quick update of what we're trying to do here. Uh, in the process of, of being here, coming to Brazil, and, and wanting to serve the Lord, uh, our heart was to, to do a program, uh, an outreach with churches uh, for children. And... Uh, we felt led to, to plant a church. The Lord gave us a piece of land, um, a small, a lot, one parcel of land. And we built a wall around it with an offering several years ago from a Baptist church up in North Carolina. And uh, we had a gate on it and the gate was stolen. For the last several years we've been trying to do work there, but it hasn't, construction work to close off the front, hasn't worked out. We've been able to have the materials and pay the workers to do that. So. We've had classes at the piece of land that we have here that's 16 blocks away from our church plant land. And we've worked with different churches uh, preaching and teaching. And, and in the last two or three years, the Lord has impressed on my heart for the work to be in English with an interpretation in Portuguese. And that wasn't the plan when I first got here. I thought I was going to have to forget all my English that I had learned. Uh, but just this week, I will start a new English class with uh, some folks in the military, in the cavalry unit uh, here in uh, in our city, which is a regional base for the two states that border Bolivia and Paraguay in the western cen central western part of Brazil. Our state borders Paraguay, and Mato Grosso above us borders Bolivia. And so uh, it's an important area for, for military, and uh, we're going to start classes and have ministry opportunities with people in the military here. We have classes with children. We have classes with two different churches. I have a class with a family that's preparing to go to China uh, for a master's degree and uh, ministering with them. We have um, a, a free time of ministry with, with kids and have a good program here. I have snacks and learn Bible verses in Portuguese and English and uh, give them the gospel very clearly. And we, uh, we work with uh, Igreja Batista Guaranji, Guaranji Baptist Church here in Campo Grande. It's like our home church here in Brazil. And our home, home church in the United States is Woodland Park Baptist Church up in Tennessee. Pastor Tim Kimsey, he's been to our home here in Brazil, been here to Brazil several times and uh, knows our family for quite some time here so um we're trying to plant the church we need to build actually i want to do a an amphitheater type church uh where we have kind of the services outside but we have a couple classrooms for kids on the first level and a bathroom and a kitchen and then on the second level maybe I'll have an apartment for the person that will eventually be the pastor of the church there and until we have that person we can use it as uh, as a guest room or some or for someone to to stay when they need a place to stay or, or like a prophet's chamber when i was a little kid back home we had those in the states and so um that's that's uh, basically what we're going on right now i have classes on every day but friday uh and sunday uh friday is my family day and uh, except for my little boy he takes violin classes on Friday nights, Friday evenings. And um, and so I try to have time to spend more with family on Fridays. And then Sundays, of course, we have church. Sometimes we speak at a different church service and uh, we're asked to preach or present our ministry. The rest of the days I have classes during the week uh, and we teach the English using the Bible and uh, incentivize people to read the scriptures in Portuguese, especially people that don't know the Lord. Read the scriptures in Portuguese to prepare for the lesson in English. And um, we hope that we can have a ministry that works with children uh, at the church plant land uh, in the morning and afternoon. So when we have the amphitheater and the two classrooms and a kitchen and a bathroom, then um, we can have... 
someone to come and uh, have some volunteer teachers and have some people that are on staff to be monitors, maybe someone that cooks and provide lunch for the group that will study in the afternoon at the local school here and then have a snack in the afternoon for the kids that studied in the morning. Here in Brazil, most times school is divided from like um, 7 to 11 and then 1 to 5. And so it makes a little bit things difficult sometimes for parents to, to be able to um, get a job during school hours because uh, unless one of the parents is totally off during that time, you can't pick up and take your kids to school um, and then go to work for two or three hours. Normally, there's not any work like that. Usually, it's four, four or six hours, sometimes eight, and then it doesn't always flow with the school time. So, it'd be helpful for families, have the program with the kids, teach English there at the church, and then have services during the week and uh, especially on Sundays. So, that's that's our goal. Uh, I speak Portuguese uh, fairly well, um, and so I can communicate one-on-one -on -one with people, but uh, because of our English ministry and how that ties in with everything, I've wanted to be able to, uh, the last several years, Lord's put on my heart for the church to be more in English with a Portuguese interpretation. So that's our goals. Uh, hopefully we can get some construction work this year done on the church plant land. Right now there's a, a farmer that planted some yucca root on the church plant land and, and that'll bless his family and he'll give some of the yucca root for, for us too. So we're thankful for that. And um, my wife works a job in a local school here, but um, the only support that we have is from family, uh, two churches in North Carolina, and then individuals that give special offerings. And uh, people give offerings, or sometimes I receive a, a symbolic amount for English classes here in Brazil. So um, please pray for us. If you have any specific questions, let us know. We have three boys, Timothy, Joshua, and Moisir. And Micaiah Jonathan, they're 11, 8, and 6. We hope to adopt one or two little girls in the future when we can get our home, get a room prepared for them. My wife is Virginia. Uh, she's Brazilian. She was born in Sao Paulo, and she moved to Campo Grande when she was a young girl. Uh, I'm standing right behind me is our orange lemon tree, and then our goyaba tree, guava tree. And uh, the, the guavas, uh, guayabas produced a lot of fruit, guavas. Uh, they had a great season this year. And there's parrots uh, up above me now and birds. Uh, a lot of wildlife you can come and see. There's a place in Campo Grande, a retreat center. We saw some monkeys. So uh, we have uh, capivaras, have a lot of wildlife here in Campo Grande. It's the capital city of Monte Grosso do Sol. Uh, so my name is Pastor Timothy. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you. Mrs. Kathy for uh, wanting to represent us and get information from us. Lord bless you. And hugs and prayers from the Pew family in Campo Grande, Mato Grosso do Sul, Brazil.